On a deux jours, on en mange des chicken wings. <rire> Quand il a su qu'elle allait venir ici, il m'a dit, je pense qu'on va battre vite, vite, vite. Ce que vous voulez dire, hein? draws to a close, and it's time to shave moustaches. <laughs> you look like Charlie Chaplin. By November 26, the Habs have raised more money than any other NHL team in the fight against prostate cancer. $44,624. In Buffalo, while the players settle in at the hotel, the coaches chow down on chicken wings, the local specialty. We are the famous anchor bar in Buffalo, New York. The best chicken wings ever. On est dans un an, je sais pas, mais je m'appelle ici, mon ami. Michel Terrier orders 100 chicken wings for the whole gang. But there's no such thing as three wings, unless the Habs score five goals. Les comptes sont toujours ensemble. Une de mes nouvelles activités préférées à Buffalo, mais c'est de se retrouver ici à manger nos, nos chicken wings, puis à prendre une petite bière, regarder les games de hockey. Pendant deux jours, on a mangé des chicken wings. <laughs> The hot ones are the best. Good for the diet. <laughs> the coaches digest their meal while watching hockey. Then it's back to the hotel before curfew. Thanks for the wings, Joe. It's fun. On est heureux. On va dormir. On va être prêt pour demain. Michel Terrien stresses the importance of leadership on a team. We have to react as leader. No matter what your role is, you want to make sure you play your best and you'll be a leader out there. Leaders are competing, leaders are working hard, leaders take the decision, leaders are disciplined. This is what leader is all about. Whatever it's your first year in the league or 15 year in the league, you want to make sure you're going to be a leader when you're going to be out there. All right, come on, let's go. The Montreal Buffalo game kicks off. Chenyuk accidentally hits Steve Ott in the face. Montreal, the rainy one, four minutes, high stick. The referees send Eller to the penalty box. You said anyone? At least get the right guy. I wouldn't lie to you, you know that. You can check after, guaranteed. After review, Galchenyuk is punished for what he did. A long pass from Georges to Dejame. Which number 51 misses? Oh. It's a nice pass, but... Eller, Galchenyuk, and Markov charge. Three against two. Markov's shot deflects off Galchenyuk. One nothing for Canadians. End of the first 20. Prust and Galchenyuk, usually always scuffling, trade strategies during the intermission. You're working hard. Peek your peak now, battling hard. Second period. During the game, Paros stays in shape until the coach calls on him. Yemelin makes his presence felt. Ouch! Zuban shoots, Dejane deflects the shot. Two nothing for Montreal. Hard-working White is injured. He tries to make the pain go away. I feel like almost like a cramp in that groin. I hear you not groin, but hit. Okay. <sighs> Then he gets back on the ice. The Sabres rally. Matt Molson scores. End of the second period, two to one for the red, white, and blue. During the break, White receives treatment. Nah, no, it feels, feels good. Appreciate it. 
third period. Price helps his team hold on to its lead. The Sabres are frustrated. Murray must hold Scott back. The Canadian's defenseman receives a cut to the face. Besides the cut, are you feeling all right? Then the gladiator returns to the action. His teammates admire his courage. Gallagher shoots. Three to one for the Canadians. A fourth consecutive win for Michel Therrien's team. A victory that gives you wings. What? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, have a You forgot the spouse ball to go on. Great old guy. You can keep playing the right way. Friday morning. Training session in Washington before the afternoon game. Lekanets is one of the team's most consistent players. His secret? Work, work, and work. Blakey, how much did you have on the blocker side? How much room did you have on the blocker side? Heller and Mullen won. This game more or less. Do you know how to fight now? Yeah. <laughs> I gave him a few tips. <laughs> The players prepare to play the Capitals. Let's make sure that we go out there, we dictate, okay? We're proactive, we set the pace, and we stay out of the penalty box. If we do so, guys, our chances of coming out of here with two points are very good. All right, good luck, guys. Budai will be tonight's goalie. The Montreal-Washington game kicks off. Pick the puck and finish. Close the gap in a hurry. Nice pass by Diaz to Dayan. Holtby blocks the shot. The Canadians receive two back-to-back -back penalties. The defense shines. No worries. Daniel Pierre attempts a wraparound and slips the puck in behind the goal. One to nine. While leaping onto the rink, Markov accidentally sticks PK in the face. Hockey is a dangerous game, on and off the ice. End of the first period. I saw all the guys on you, so I didn't want to throw a ball on you. Or, yeah. Or, I said, I'm going to try to pass you, you know, on the, yeah. even on the, like, you, have, you have nothing there, right? Exactly. I didn't want to put you in trouble there, too. It's like, where is she at? All right. Second period. I got blue, huh? Budai is caught behind the net, and Fair scores his team's first goal, one to one. Just over a minute later, the Canadians take back the lead as Plekanec scores 2-1. to one. Deno explains an earlier mistake to rookie Bourneva. P.K. is stuck with Nicholas Backstrom. Get out of there, P.K. We had a good look at it, and he had you just as much as you had him. That's why, that's a loss. But you got to be careful. It's a dangerous play. It's just a good thing we had a good angle on that. The Capitals step up the pressure. That was good. End of the second period. Two to one for the Habs. Don't start to be on your hill. We hired the puck carrier like we did in the first period. And we're going to keep those guys if we keep playing the right way. All right, come on, let's go. Here. Come on. Third period. Zuban makes a great defensive play. Line change. PK changes his mind at the last second and stays on the ice. Fortunately, Yebelin stays put. 
here, Jeff. The Russians are at war. Markov and Ovechkin get into a shoving match in the Canadian zone. Grabowski slips one in between Budai's pads, two to two. Price cheers up the Slovak. You go in here, Boots, hey? Next shot, next shot. Third period's over. No goal in overtime. It's shootout time. are on fire. After six shots, four goals are scored. Grabowski finally scores the game-winning goal for the Capitals. Still, the Canadians add one point to their standing. Ovechkin and Markov cross paths in the hallway. They settle their differences in their mother tongue. The team flies back to Montreal to face their longtime rivals. Do you guys know when the last time the Leafs beat the Canadians? I got a question. What do I win? Well, Toronto win the cup the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Canadians versus Maple Leafs games rile up hockey fans from both cities. Many Leafs fans make the trip to watch the game in Montreal. Where have my Leafs been? Woo! <laughs> the last time the Leafs beat the Canadians? First season. I got a question. What do I win? Well, if Toronto wins the cup the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it. It's a rivalry of the ages, right? I mean, you can't get better rivalry than that. I mean, I feel like you couldn't imagine cheering for anybody else. It, my eighth trip, I've taken with my son. Started when he was six years old and uh, go every year once a year. So that's actually how we met. I had uh, four Leafs tickets for a Saturday night in Toronto against Montreal, actually. And uh, two people dropped out, so I, I advertised them on Kijiji, and she was the person that, that actually ended up buying the tickets. <laughs> I think uh, Pat's ready. He's going to get two. Montreal's going to win four, too. That's my prediction. <laughs> The players aren't the only ones getting ready for the game. Two young players are on a special mission. Aujourd'hui, ils sont novices, fait que 7 à 8 ans, à peu près. Ready to go? I'm Angelo. Nice to meet you. C'est Louis Philippe. Ça va bien? Moi, c'est Angelo. T'es tu prêt? So it's all about the experience. Donc les gars, vous pouvez commencer à vous habiller. Donc les gars, juste deux consignes. Quand vous êtes dans les couloirs, toujours en chandelle comme ça. Okay, always upright like this candlestick. Okay. Les jeunes vont sur le site web du fan club, sur fanclub.canadien.com. Ils s'inscrivent et puis euh, on les appelle environ 48 heures à l'avance pour leur annoncer qu'ils vont être là pour le match. Ça monte un peu aux gens la relève, qui sait qu'ils vont être les prochains sur la glace, qui vont, euh, qui vont grandir éventuellement pour être les futurs Canadiens. Ce n'est pas juste les amis des joueurs et tout ça, mais que tout le monde a accès à l'équipe à travers le fan club. Bien, on est ici pour... Euh... C'est Louis-Philippe, dans la concrétisation de son rêve, d'être porte-drapeau. Oh, c'est comme Walt Disney pour, pour lui, peut-être qu'il ne réalise pas autant que nous de venir au centre de la, la chance qu'il a de, de porter le drapeau pour le Canadien, c'est incroyable. <rire> il fait du patin de vitesse, puis il nous disait des fois, à la, à, au début d'une compétition, mon cœur va vite. Puis quand il a su qu'il allait venir ici, il m'a dit, je pense que mon cœur va, va battre vite, vite, vite. <rire> He hasn't been stopped from talking to me about it since we got the phone call uh, on Thursday. And it's literally been non-stop, you know, what he's going to do, practicing the flag in the car, you know, he's been doing that. So I think he's ready to bring it and uh, and to do his job. Pour uh, faire un custom uh, trajet des fois, parce que c'est des nouveaux jeunes à chaque fois. Donc uh, c'est pour ça qu'on fait la pratique avant. 
three, four, parfait. It's my first time in front of so many people. I heard him. He was screaming at me when I was going out the edge. The people. sont vraiment certains de leur coup, sont sûrs d'eux-mêmes. Puis là, quand ça commence, ça devient un peu gêné. Mais c'est là qu'Angelo rentre en ligne de compte puis lui rassure les enfants. C'est à ce moment-là qu'on voit que c'est un moment spécial parce que le parent est là, l'enfant est là. Puis c'est juste eux avec l'équipe qui fait que c'est vraiment un beau moment. game face-off, a classic. Pacioretty takes a hard pass from Suba. He shoots, 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 and scores! One-nothing for Canadian. Toronto think they score, but the goal is disallowed. Price was obstructed. Dayane wins the face-off and passes to Suba. He scores! Two-nothing! Power play for the Leafs. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think that's the number one play they want. You know what I mean? Back to Kessler. Huh? You know what I mean? Right here. Yeah. Like trying to take that away from Kessler. Anyway, I'll check it. Right now. End of the first period. Good job, boys. Return to the end of the first period. The coaches review the plays. First thing, Kessler. See what a block of shots they see shooting. Okay, let's find a let's find a way to play that now. Là, il y a des trous de glace. C'est ça, c'est ça. Il y a des trous de glace, ça sent, mec. Yeah, if he keeps them over there, it's not dangerous. Yeah, as soon as Castle gets the hair, it's like... But trust me, he does that. He's thinking, I want a front, I want a front. Keep him here, it's perfect. That's good. You want me to address it with him? You can do it. I'll tell him now. I know what you want. So as soon as he... If Castle, if you just jump on him, I would hear. Yeah, yeah. Then it's perfect. But what you probably should have done is perfect. In the perfect world, come up like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Second period. I got to hit the post. Harris and Orr lock horns again. Nobody wants to relive the traumatic first clash between the two teams. This time, no drama. Volk misses the net and pays for it. He only missed by five feet. Like, you almost had it. Rivière passes to Plakanitz, who scores with a precise shot, exactly as practiced earlier this week. Pacioretty rushes the net and scores his second goal of the game, 4-0. 
48 seconds later, Toronto scores 4-1. Oh, that's okay. Don't fall in there. It's okay. 22 seconds later, the Leafs score a second goal. 4-2. End of the second period. Derne and Briere recall fond memories. Yes, the Third period. The Canadians don't back down. You don't want to go Dougie, do you? You don't want to go Dougie, do you? They retain their lead. An awesome 4-2 victory against their old rival. Time for a well-deserved break. Great job. Saturday night, tomorrow's off. We've got four games next week, okay? Thank you. Oh, I'll take care of that. We'll just tweak that. Play the other side. Okay? So, you know, seriously, okay? Yeah. You know, you come inside here. Yeah. Um, one of the flag bearers tonight wanted me to give this to you. I heard him. He was screaming at me when I was going on the ice. He said, BK, BK. December 1st is just a few hours away. November is almost over. Time to shave. Oh, babe, we're going to have that down. No? Oh, babe. We're going to have that down, it's going to be a month. Sure. You're going to have that down, it's going to be a month.